Hi, it's Tharal here for EGN, and today we are back with our Stellaris Twilight of the Imperium mod, or the Warhammer 40,000 mod, where obviously we are playing as the Tau Empire. So we've been obviously steadily expanding and getting our empire into a decent situation. It is sort of, well I say empire, it's now numbering obviously three plants. We are expanding quite a fair bit. Um, bit quite steadily. Obviously there has been an update obviously since the last recording so things should hopefully be pretty stable. The mod that I have is currently out of date with the current version of Slaris but I haven't seen any problems so fingers crossed you know with it just being a cosmetic mod that shouldn't affect it too much or anything like that at all. So here we are obviously we are in the situation where obviously in the north the uh, craft world Eldar are actually pushing closer into our borders so we're not 100% sure on how that one's going, not sure if I'm too thrilled with that one, but you know, we are at the very least going to continue our original plan, we're going to continue expanding to the south and to southeast more accurately, to hopefully be able to get some lands to be able to pull in there, we've got a fair bit of, you know, money coming in and everything, we're in a you know, really, really good situation. Obviously, our fleet has managed to push back some, um, so shall we say, creatures and sort of smaller empire type th um, things that are sort of wandering around the galaxy. They're not really too much of a threat to us. We are obviously expanding our research as well, steadily learning about more, although we are going pretty slowly in terms of the actual research. It's something that we will need to expand on a little bit further as we are going, but fingers crossed that should all go okay. The main thing I am obviously worried about is potentially needing to build up my fleet so that I can defend should the craft well Eldar decide to take any actions against us, shall we say, to put it in a nice way. This is a nice little cluster of stars here that you can see that we are learning a little bit about here and as much as we are able to surveying everything with the plan of likely eventually obviously expanding into these. Unfortunately, we haven't really been able to get many of the colonizer types of world things, so it's still going to probably be a little bit of a while until we're able to get these. You've just seen there, if you've possibly noticed, that obviously our borders are steadily expanding. We do have quite a decent sized empire really at the minute and hopefully we should be able to keep it that way and to keep the craft world Eldar out of, of our borders although you know as obviously they do continue to push further south then obviously we may have to look at turning around and possibly doing something about that we'll take that when and as it comes though so here again let's say obviously uh, there we go expanding the borders yet again they're steadily creeping for further down to the south so hopefully that should hold with the way that it's looking at the minute it would be really nice if we could get some of the colonization things i've just seen there as well the craft world eldar borders steadily creeping forward not liking the look of that but We'll obviously we'll see how that one does can go. We'll continue to keep an eye on that. Here yeah, we're just gonna sort of pull our fleet back. The intention being basically to look at expanding this fleet. We also probably should look at possibly doing something about our credits. I mean, we are on plus six and we are actually at, you know, the max amount, but you know, obviously we don't want to get into a deficit or anything like that, obviously. For the minute, it does look like that's going okay. Our minerals doing very well, plus 60. I believe that is pretty much every single month. So, you know, that's in a really, really good position, that one to be in. So our economy is nice and strong. Obviously, we are not a massive sort of um, civilization yet we do need to expand a little bit further although we have now got our fourth planet that we are currently colonizing so it's going to be pretty soon when we're going to be able to start a creating our first sector obviously which is an AI managed one so that we can just focus on more of as with any actual paradox game the actual overarching sort of plot and the grander picture rather than the minute detail is the general sort of intention with obviously paradox games and so here oh, the actual Eldar have sent us a request to basically exchange star maps. We will be willing to do that. I mean, it's not really much use to us. We're not actually looking at, obviously, the tower. Perfectly happy to leave their northern borders to the actual craft world. We are not in any interest with declaring war on them yet. We may actually look at possibly becoming allies with them as they are a nice enough people and probably somebody who we will not be wanting to annoy too much or anything like that, obviously. But, you know, for the minute, 
in short our sort of attention is elsewhere so we don't see any real risk with them so here you can see we've just expanded our spaceport and so we are going to start with some destroyer class ships going to get five of those obviously at two sort of um, ship value apiece that is going to put our actual and um, naval capacity up and ship capacity up pretty close to its limits so it's going to get a fair bit of money coming in for us probably going to cost us a little bit of maintenance as well but as we obviously do expand we should be able to offset that with more worlds and more mining resources and things like that obviously as we do go although we will likely need to possibly up the amount that we are looking at expanding and actually increase our surveying to be able to get some more planets to obviously be able to pull in some more money or at least that's the plan how well that will go we shall have to wait and see as of see there is quite a couple of areas that we could go to at the minute and we're not too sure about these ships are quite decent as well they are you know noticeably larger than our previous ships and more importantly they are bringing quite a good bit of strength into us so hopefully they should be able to you know deter any of the actual guys that may decide that they wanted to get a piece of our empire um, at least I'm um, keeping my fingers crossed for that one obviously I have still not really got into many very many wars in this game or anything like that so I'm still sort of working out the finer details of it as we do obviously play if anybody obviously does have any advice do be sure to leave it in the comments below and we'll be more than happy to take them on board just going through as well you know upgrading some of our planets tree buildings and things to see what's going on we're going to move those guys the vespids obviously up to there to get some more actual food to be able to grow faster obviously vespids are one of the um vassal um races almost of the actual um tau and quite cool hive mind sort of bug race and definitely an interesting ones um not really all that useful they're kind of just ignored when compared to the importance of the crew i think to the tau but you know they are still very much there and one of the three sort of well, I suppose two big in recognized Tau allied races. Obviously, uh, here I'm just anyway getting back to the game though. I'm getting sidetracked a little bit there. And so here we're just getting back to having a look. I'm messing around trying to see what a terraforming thing is. Uh, just to test it out. I've not really done any terraforming. I tend to just focus on looking at getting the colonization and then just dealing with the world. Although these ones, unfortunately, as we can't actually you know um colonize those worlds we don't have the technology to be able to even try to terraform it so not quite a waste of time and resources i mean we've got more than enough resources but you know it could be certainly a lot better and so here we're going to actually have a look at getting some research i'm gonna possibly get some psychic warriors at some point although obviously that does go against the tau one of the main things of them the tau is that they are not psychic and it's one of the things that is big about them it's actually from if anybody has read any of the books and everything there was a previous one i'm not 100 percent sure if it's still canon which claims that the actual horus heresy obviously for the empire tends to 10,000 years ago, Horus was potentially supposed to win. If Horus had won, it would have actually made the good version of the galaxy, where basically the Empire and the Imperium would have collapsed in on itself, and then basically humans would have been extinct, and races like the actual Tau would have came more to prominence in the galaxy, and as they weren't psychic, they would have basically starved out the psychic um, the Chaos Gods from their power. At least that was the idea that was presented in one of the books. Let's say I'm not 100% sure if that one obviously is still considered canon art. If anybody does know, please do be sure to let me know. It's one of the more interesting one um, things that I have discovered about the Horus Heresy in my reading and studying of the 40k universe. We'll just mention as well, obviously, if you are enjoying this series or any of my other ones, please do be sure to subscribe for notifications of when they are obviously coming out. Wouldn't want you to miss any future releases that I obviously do. With being back now, I am trying to, going to try and get some increased amount of videos coming out in the next week, so do be sure to keep an eye out for all of those. So here we are just going around and we are setting up some various different things. One thing I have noticed is that we do start to have these two buildings which don't actually develop 
builders any resource they help with diversion and unity and happiness and things like that so definitely it's a good thing to have certainly i'm going to be looking at putting those on the tiles which i don't actually you know get any resources off automatically you can see here there is a lot of things that i need to do to clear these lands which i am going to need to look at trying to do at some point obviously the nature of sort of the tech tree in this game it is something that's probably going to take us a little bit of a while to actually get to the point where we can get those but you know hopefully they should go reasonably okay one thing we'll mention as well i've had a bit of a look around this actual place is looking like it is in a very good situation this little cluster of stars that we were just at there and hopefully something that we will be able to expand to it's the reason why we are also going to build up this um, military force get it to there we go our limit is because this central star has actually got an enemy race um of or enemy ships on it and so we are going to have to go and politely ask them to leave shall we say using our laser weapons as is the often way in the 40k universe of or where there is only war as anybody obviously who knows the catchphrase i don't know if it's still a catchphrase i know it certainly was back when i used to play the tabletop game and so just sending around our constructor we're going to sort of expand some of these things a little bit hopefully bring in a little bit more money and also as well more importantly probably bring in some more research i think there's a lot more that we could do with that we're obviously sending in our survey ship there as obviously as our bods have expanded we've moved him in there as this place is now in our lands and obviously we want to be able to get the resources from that so those um, ships there the enemy uh, the space amoebas obviously at 450 something we are going to be able to crush with relative ease as we obviously massively outnumber them but still you know they do manage to take out a good I believe actually take out one of our destroyer ships by the look of it as obviously we've lost about 50 or so attack power so that's not great but you know we will obviously have to overcome that and while we have actually been exploring this land we have actually discovered some primitive races which is something that I've been looking forward to finding for a while and so we're possibly going to look at you know bringing them up to space era and maybe you know bringing them into the light of the greater good so that is something that we will We'll definitely have to look at doing we will obviously first have to you know expand probably set up an actual border you know and um, border frontier and um, our frontier planets and um, a frontier outpost that's the words i got there in the end completely forgot what they were for a second so it's a lot obviously of expansion going on here and surveying possibly do need to get another ship or so i think that's what i'm going to do in a minute is to be able to set up my spaceport to be able to get me another maybe constructor and another science vessel to be able to expand further and further obviously as we're going oh i've just seen there as well you will notice that the actual craft world that have decided to bring their borders right up against us so hopefully we will have to monitor that situation and see how that is going if they look like they are going to try and envelop us then we are going to have to deal with that in the correct manner and also as well it is a good thing as i mentioned that i am actually building those new ships as that is going to have to be a case that we are going to now have to basically step up our expansion plans to be able to make sure that we have the power to basically be able to say to them look right if you're going to try and take us you're going to have somebody who is more than a little bit you know tough to be able to basically expand you know to be able to fight them back we are looking like our empires are around about the same size so hopefully we should be able to hold our own against them obviously not 100% sure at the matter we'll have a quick check um when i am finished with this on the actual graphs and everything see how my actual um, civilization is comparing to theirs and then we'll have a better idea of how big of a threat they may potentially be to us obviously here you can see we do have a new science um, ship I believe it was and a new constructor ship that we can now begin to send out so we're going to send them surveying out as well did go look at trying to take this place but unfortunately it is a case that that one has got sort of 750 odd strength well two 750 odd strength or so places we are obviously not going to be able to take them down anytime soon and we are not even going to try at the minute as i value my ships as they are and not as space junk which is what they would become if we did try to attack that at this current time even though we do you know obviously we do have actually a guy you know leading us so we maybe get a little bit boost we maybe wouldn't go down terribly we'd 
certainly put up a decent fight, but I don't think it would go as well as we would actually probably want it to do. So here we're just going to sort of again get in some more research. These researchers coming in at a decent rate. We also do have some stuff which is giving us a nice couple of different options for them. There's a planet there that by the looks of things we could actually colonize. It's something that we will have to look at doing. We do need to expand further down here. We're going to continue to look at this cluster here. You can see there they've got actually a decent number of resources in that area. So this is definitely something that will be good to do. So there you go. We are doing an um, frontier outpost. And so hopefully this one will be in a decent enough position to be able to expand into it. If not, there's at least, you know, five energy credits there and seven minerals. So we will be able to get at least a decent bit from that. And obviously then we can start an observatory to begin to actually look at this uh, rate this race who are uh, pre-space era people and see what we can actually do messing around with them. So I'm going to leave it there for today. We're in an interesting place here. We're going to hopefully be able to expand further and I'll come back to you once obviously we've got those guys being observed. Do obviously be sure to subscribe if you have enjoyed the video and obviously get notifications for when the next app. See you next time. I've been Atharal here at EGN.